And now normally it would be time for the LA Foodie Restaurant Review, but we're going to do a very special blossom today and talk about <laughs> <laughs> the barbecue in LA. It's been buzzing a little bit on mm-hmm. Twitter on and off over the past six months. I mean, people just keep bringing it up. I feel right. like more than ever now. So our guest, Hot Dog the Rapper, who is something of a barbecue expert. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't call myself an expert, but I like to eat it more than most people do. <laughs> passionate passionate yeah. eater. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a part of the passionate audio. I, I like barbecue. Yeah, well, so <laughs> what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what is available here in L.A. Because I think that L.A. has a stigma uh, among outsiders and maybe even local people, people yeah, sure. thinking that there isn't good barbecue here and that's bullshit it might not be as simple to find as say austin or yeah, sure, you know you're not anywhere gonna find, yeah. in texas you're not gonna find stuff that's maybe or kansas like, city yeah like the <laughs> a plus level that you're gonna get in kansas city or you yeah. know austin or in north carolina or but there is good go, stuff but here. there is good stuff and good if stuff. you really crave it and you miss it like we do mm-hmm. constantly there's some pretty good spots to go and hot dog showed up equipped with He's got a, a whole of, spreadsheet. Yeah. It's crazy. He's got all I sorts of I pitched these guys about a year ago to do, <laughs> <laughs> to do a barbecue episode of the podcast. Um, mostly out so of we're um, do it. yeah, mostly out of my yeah. my wanting um, to know where I can get some, you know, legit smoked meat. So yeah. um, it, it took me about a year. Um, and we're about to get started on this. Um, I think we probably just need to Well, if you're listening how we're okay. gonna do this. Yeah, thing. if you're listening to the podcast now, yes. the assignment that we really want your help with is where do we go? Because we're going to look right. for the best joint in the city, so we need your help. We're going to talk about a bunch here, Yep, but we need to know what's in your neighborhood, yeah. do we what's miss something? your favorite joint, because obviously we miss something. I mean, we always do, yep. because everybody has you, a little place that's yep. two blocks from their house. It's LA, like, it's too the best place. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, so let pod, us know. So podcast at LAfoodie.com mm-hmm. if you like email, if you like Twitter, at LAfoodie. You know where to find us, sellyfoodie.com. Yeah. So, um, hot dog, get us started. Yeah, what's, what's up? Okay, so I went, uh, I spent a couple hours trying to dig up a, a pretty solid list of places that we might want to check out. Let's and see this list here. All right, what do we got? Yeah, well, it's how, it, how long is the list? How many know, places? The, so, the, the, right. 21 restaurants made the list. Okay, no problem. Um, okay, and I did a lot of you know, there's criteria, criteria, there's um, barbecue, it's all American barbecue. Okay. okay. I, I so no Korean barbecue, no Korean, no, no Mongolian, Mongolian barbecue. Yeah. Right, right. Um, there's only like one exception, like one place on this list has a little bit of a twist, but it's American gotcha. barbecue at heart. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, so I figured we could just like run through this yeah. list. Let's do it. Um, hopefully it'll spur some conversation. Well, hang on. And In case we're not going to forget to come back to that place, are we? Do we want to we'll, we'll, delay till we'll later? No, I don't we'll want us to forget. We'll yeah, we'll, we'll, okay. we got it. It's on the list. All right. So w- what's first? What's the first um, place? Okay. So alphabetical order. Yeah. Um, first one's Baby Blues. Most people probably know Baby Blues. Yeah, they've now have they have two locations now. Where's that? Now? They actually um, they recently the original locations at like it's in Venice at yeah, like Lincoln, Lincoln and Rose. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. They open up a location in West Hollywood, and oh. for any people up north, they also have a location in San Francisco now. All right. Now oh. you and I kind of I think feel roughly the same about Baby Blues, which is. You could do way worse than Baby Blues. They yeah. have super competent stuff. That was good. I'm not as crazy. I, I feel like it's a little overhyped just because it's... Because it was on that show, um, Diners and... Diners, whatever. Drivers, and Diners. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Okay. So, Guy Fieri. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, Gave it his blessing, which is cool, man. And, sure, uh, right. That's yeah. awesome. It's just a couple Why of dudes, not? local dudes, who started a shop, it's and a I think place. that's great. It's tasty. Right. Yep. And, and, yeah, and it's good. Like I, If I have a barbecue craving, it will fill my craving every single time. Yeah. yeah. They do well yeah. with the sides, blah, blah, so blah. So what? Blah, do you know what's mm-hmm. best to get there? Um, I know they do great pulled pork, but a lot of places do. <laughs> Their Decent beef ribs are so huge. So it's like, yeah, they're like brontosaurus <laughs> oh, ribs. Yeah, they're the like right? brontosaurus yeah, yeah, beef yeah, ribs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and I like it, it, beef ribs I've had mostly have been good. Like one time they were a little overdone, and I was the douchebag who got there at 8 30 at a barbecue restaurant. Right. So don't do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, Well, hang on. Explain what that means to people who aren't exactly well, seasoned barbecue ribs. They fries. start cooking. Seasoned yeah. barbecue ribs. They, yeah. If you go to a barbecue <laughs> restaurant, you're being served meat that they started cooking, depending on t- what time of day you get there, between 18 and four hours ago, probably. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. So if yeah. you get there at, let's say, 7, 30 or 8 at night and you order their beef ribs or their brisket, which they're probably cooking for 8 to 16 hours, depending. Mm-hmm. 
you're going to have like the driest cut of brisket that anybody's had there all day. Like, go get brisket at lunchtime. But now, okay. to give credit to <clears throat> definitely some of the higher end places, there's a couple of methods to hold the meat pretty reliably. Right. And one of them is cryo packing the meat like at its peak. Right. Um, I suspect that a lot of these places don't do that because it's kind of like a new competitive barbecue technique. So I just want to acknowledge that that happens sure. at a lot of places that really do it right. But I would say nine times out of ten, that's going to be the case. If you're there right before it closes, mm -hmm. you might not be getting the best stuff they had to offer. Bellas, right. there's, <laughs> there's 21 places on this list. We can't make this take 21 minutes. Okay. All right, let's go. The, ne <laughs> the next one is Bear Pit Bar Barbecue. This was recommended by um, a friend of the podcast, Patrick McGilligan. It's a fun okay. place to go. Uh, I've, nice. I've never it's, been it's before. It's Mission Hills. Yeah, Mission Hills. Yeah, and it's, it's like the walls are painted by former Disney employees, and it's fun, Ooh. but it's not real barbecue oh, okay and just a quick tidbit it was founded like way back in the day like when my grandpa was like all right it's a badass place it's a very la foodie spot the, du the dude who founded it from missouri nice that's all i'll well, say before missouri I go. style barbecue yeah that's exactly. what they call it okay yep. um okay. the next one is big mistas this one gets a oh, lot yeah. of love online uh they, we know big mister yeah. he's a friend of the show yeah yeah <laughs> it, it, and but they don't have a restaurant so you got to catch him at a farmer's market oh right? yeah is that how it works yeah yeah don't ask him about his first kiss <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know we did so there we go uh the next one is blood says barbecue oh, it's yeah. a texas style joint in compton on yeah. south long beach boulevard um never been never been either i've never been either but i've heard it, of it. it's it's high up on the list so okay. we, we probably want to check that one out all right yeah, i do um the boneyard bistro it's Where in it's in Sherman Oaks off Ventura Boulevard. Okay, and I've been there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been? Because yeah, it was a long time ago. I could yeah, I couldn't there. get a read on it because there are like 400 Yelp reviews, and you know what happens when there are 400 Yelp yep. reviews. Sure, it that's goes, why we do Yelp counter now. Because you're just like, here is one totally <laughs> retarded. Like, I'm dead, totally sucked. If I could give this nigga a shot. <laughs> um, the next one is Bonnie Beast Smokin'. Barbecue Heaven. It's on North Lake Avenue in wait, Pasadena. Wait, wait, what's it called? Bonnie it's B's called Bonnie Bee's Smokin' Barbecue Heaven. Smokin' Barbecue. Hold on. Just let me read this verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> I put so much more time into this one than any other one. <laughs> and before I even get started, I should say that one of the categories that we'll be rating barbecue restaurants on is the songs that play on your their website when you load. <laughs> and so this one was playing. I, I have no recollection. There were so many great ones. Um, but all across the board, like these guys know how to put some good tunes on their website. Sweet. <laughs> um, but anyway, so Bunny Bee's Smoke and Barbecue Heaven is on North Lake Avenue in Pasadena. Okay. The cooks learned their wares at Gellarosa Ranch Barbecue in San Diego, and that place was founded by the disciples of Leo's famous barbecue in Oklahoma City. Um... That's just a lot of like famousness, but what I was trying to say is this is Oklahoma barbecue. But here's the good part. Okay. Their about page basically reads like the liner notes from a hip hop album. All right. Here's the first paragraph. Wait, hang on. You should read it as I can do I can bust a beat. There's no it. possible way dude, I cannot do a Bonnie impression impersonation. <laughs> So what does it say? It says, we would like to thank the following. Please forgive us if we left your name out. Their mom, <laughs> brothers Michael and Clarence, Uncle Leo Smith, cousins Collis, Wayne, Valerie, Carmen, Shani, and so many others. Friends the Yayas, Beverly, Kenya, Diane, Tree, Tony, Bon, woman from the five o'clock meeting, the crew of pets, <laughs> pet grooming, just a ten barber shop, a different world to salon, and so many more. So, oh yeah! <laughs> what, what what? Yeah, so we got we got to hit up Bonnie's. Yeah. Um, the next Sounds one is good. the next one is D's original takeout. Uh, okay. Their location is on Western between Florence and Manchester. And location sounds okay. You, yeah, well, right. but here here's the good thing about it is I found out from you know, kind of digging in about them that their uh, sauce is and you know sauce is one of those things that we definitely want to oh, pay yeah. a lot of attention Big to. Time. But their sauce is distributed locally at Whole Foods grocers. Oh, all right. And when I you know when I saw that like they I bought their sauce before and if it was bad I would remember that. Right. <laughs> so, so I guess right, I need enough. to revisit yeah. their sauce. Right. Um, so it's good enough to be for So what is the name of this yeah. place? Uh, <laughs> it, it's called D's Original Takeout Grill. D's Original Takeout Grill. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Interesting. 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 And now now we get into we're kind of in the stretch of like some good names here. Okay. Uh, the next one is Dr. Hogley Wogley's Tyler, Texas. Yep, I've been there. Yep. That name. It's actually right down the street from the Bear Pit, believe it or not. 
Oh, okay. I do believe that. I, <laughs> did I go to the Bear Pit with you and McGilligan? Maybe. Is that the restaurant? It's kind of like, uh, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> 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 that was a funny night, though. Um, but anyways, uh, Los Angeles Magazine called this place one of the 30 best kept secrets in L.A. Oh. And if you can't tell by its name, it's Texas style barbecue. So Ty- Well, they call it Tyler, Texas. Yeah, so Tyler, Texas. Is, uh, so it's from Tyler, Texas? Is well, it specific to Tyler, to Texas have, style barbecue? Yeah. I mean, I think if you're Texas and you take barbecue that seriously, sure. you know, each town, it's like uh, each burg in Germany having their own recipe oh. for their beer. I, like it, the, like the Mexican mole, you have your own yes. sauce per town. Uh-huh. So like every town in Texas has like its own spices. Little I thing. don't All know right. that for sure, but that's my guess. Okay, okay, it sounds. I like it. <laughs> I like the mythology, even if it's not true. What's up next? <laughs> uh, the, the next one is Frank's restaurant. Um, Frank? It's in Bellflower. All right. And I don't have a lot to go on with oh, wow. some of these places because they're yeah, just crappy one. websites and is they it? don't say anything. But this website has a collage on their homepage of like all the different options and yeah. it's really difficult. Okay. And there is um, a really creepy looking um, baby doll that's like hanging on the wall <laughs> and it has a caption that says, creepy baby has something for the kids. So for all that right. reason alone, oh yeah, if you I want to go there. Kids to be into creepy babies. Yeah. I mean, there you go. So F- that'll R- be O N K uh, is the name of this restaurant. Frank. That'll be a grown up strip only. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. No. You'll be in your nightmares. What's up? What's next? <laughs> um, what, it's actually a neighbor of Frank's called Hambones Barbecue and Po' Boy Sandwiches, okay, and okay. it's only been around a couple of years. But there's a lot. It's one of those ones that has a lot of. Commotion a lot of about emotion, it, a lot of buzz. Okay. Emotion, yeah, I like emotion. But, yeah, that's, no. That's what Ooh. I when I when I go to Yelp or like look at yeah. tips on Foursquare. It's like let's check out this commotion. <laughs> <laughs> I like commotion. All right, um, <laughs> a couple more that are, that are near and dear to us. J and J, which sure. is we just down the road. We just did it a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah. It's a great spot, and then uh, also very close to that is um, well, JR. Did we say J and J? Burger and barbecue in Culver City. Just oh sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, just down the road for us is Culver City. <laughs> of course, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. it's a, like um, it's basically like Fairfax in the Ten, like Roughly. Fairfax and Adams. Yep. I think. Yeah, we interviewed him on the uh, Expo Line podcast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, J&J. that's Jr's. Oh, oh, that's JR's. JR's be, oh, you're right, J&J. JR's is our next one. JR's is the next one on the list. So if, you have, oh, if, if, if you're traveling from afar and you go to one, go to both, yep. basically. Oh, yeah. um, the thing, and the only time I've been to JR's was right after I moved here, you took me at lunch one day. Yeah. And I remember them having like old school elementary style cafeteria plates that they serve <laughs> their food on. They do have a little I segmented. think they still yeah. do that. Um, also, that's where... Uh, who was the hat? Wait, hang on. There was a rapper that was in that movie sure. that Will Ferrell did about basketball, semi pro. Who was the rapper that was in that? Andre movie? Benjamin? Yeah. And he worked at a barbecue joint in the movie, and it was JR's. Really? Because I tried to go eat there one time, and they're like, nah, they're shooting a Will Ferrell movie here. And I'm like, God Rap damn it. Trivia! And then I found out. So make sure to like mention that when you come to the restaurant. Yeah, and just be like, it'll look, be all over it. Uh, you know Drew from LA Foodie, right? And they'll be like, no. No. What? Yeah. And you're like, well, I will eat here, but I just want you to know that Drew from LA Foodie tried to eat, and then they'll tell him the story, mm-hmm. and then they, you know what, you'll really probably get kicked out. Actually, yeah, exactly. don't say, yeah. <laughs> just don't be a hero. Yeah, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Bro, just get their baked beans because they're awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, the next one is a catering only joint. So, in, okay. in in it's, I wouldn't have included a catering only joint except for it gets such great reviews. Minimum order, like we talk in hundred bucks. So we talk in. I don't care. I'll split it with you. But okay. next time there's a Helicopter. podcast, let's get that for like the green room food, just so Sounds we can great. review it. Um, Mom's Barbecue House is in Van Nuys. Um, the m- mom is yeah. from Louisiana. Mom or mom? Mom. Mom. Okay. Not British. Uh, yeah. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> I was Wait just I was Australia. just waiting for an <laughs> opportunity to make fun of how people from Western Pennsylvania speak in this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> um, no, but Mom is from um, Southern Louisiana, and literally the photos on her website look like every legit like Gulf Coast barbecue place I've ever been to. Okay, not a lot of that in LA that I've seen. So yeah, like I think that's pretty Houston interesting. Houston ice house oh, style. Uh, yeah, a lot more okay. sausage, a lot more chicken. Uh, cool. yeah. Like. Good okay. Southern style gotcha. barbecue. So that one looks pretty good. Um, we were talking about this yesterday. Morpheus Ribs and Pies. It's in Marina oh, right. Del Rey over by Brennan's, the mm-hmm. college bar where they have the turtle races. Oh, right. I've had that. Yeah? And yeah. How'd you like it? Uh, it's good. Yeah? Yeah, that's, I think, uh, Lori's dad. 
grab that for us actually right after my son was born. I think that that was yeah. a giant batch of barbecue. Maybe that I, I think I even tweeted it out. Okay. So we could like go way back in time. And dig. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm almost because I'm almost positive. And was it good barbecue? Because that's like driving distance for me on it like is, a Tuesday night. It was good. It was memorable. Okay. Yeah. All I right. like not like, oh my God. But like, I remember it being. Did Barry, did, okay. are we allowed to say the B word on this podcast? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, um, did Barry get the pies too? I, the Barry pies? No, no. Because it's called. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we got any. It's pies. called Morpheus Ribs and Pies. And oh, I thought right. that was kind of weird that that's. Yeah, it's like a dual you put pies purpose. In the name, yeah, get you gotta, some you pie. Own yeah. pies, Although maybe yeah. their pie is just terrible, and they're like, you know what? I bet if we put pie in the name, no, <laughs> no, no. I bet they have the like pie. at least one pie where you're like, oh man, this is the business. Hooter pie, yeah, Hooter pie. What's up next? <laughs> uh, well, then the next one, I, from what I can tell, it's kind of like a Southern California staple. It's uh, Mr. Cecil Cecil's. Yeah, obviously, and that. Well, uh, they there always was, win these like best ribs and so. Yeah, and and, so and I've literally never eaten there because like it, it was three blocks from our office when I moved here, and yeah, I Pico, right? yeah, oh, and, and and I yeah. I asked Drew about it because it was the first and only barbecue restaurant I'd seen for like the first year I lived here, other than when he took me on the you know off beaten path to find one. And so I never went there. And then I went to go there a few months ago and they were quote unquote closed for renovations, but yeah. it sure as hell looked like they were not going to reopen. I haven't been. I swear that like LA weekly would do those, you know, readers choice polls, best ribs in LA. Yeah. And Mr. Cecil's would always show up somewhere near the top. It was, uh, I, I don't even know what the preparation method was, but like, it wasn't barbecue. And I think oh. maybe they even claim to be barbecue. I'm not sure. It was more like, do you believe that? Do you believe Tony Roma's to be authentic barbecue? Because oh, okay. it's not like wrong or anything. Okay, it's just they're probably cooking it like in a steam chest or something. They might even be boiling it. And I mean, I'm not even saying that that's necessarily a wrong thing. It's just that's not uh-huh. how you make smoky barbecue exactly. That's wrong. That's totally <laughs> wrong. Don't do it that way. Um, <laughs> so I can't speak specifically to Mr. Cecil's, but I ate there twice, and it was just. Fucking terrible both times. Okay, so. well they, they have a few other locations, and it gets generally good reviews. Um, really? Oh, we got to try it. All yeah, right. and, and so like Mr. Cecil's. Yeah, Mr. Cecil's. We'll another for you. <laughs> Yeah, bro, you better not fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up next? Uh, after Mr. Cecil's is Phillips, which sure. yeah, um, fairly well renowned. I haven't been there. It's on Crenshaw, just just right off the ten. Yeah. My favorite thing about Cecil's. This is another one of those That's Phillips. Awesome. Or, Wait, are we talking about Phillips? I'm sorry, no. Phillips. No, I just got confused. Everything about Phillips Every- is? Their link to their homepage on Yelp is to their MySpace page. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. even know MySpace was still going. You know where I went to when it went to Phillips? Sorry, Fox. I was on jury duty, guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's lunch awesome. on jury duty. It was awesome. <laughs> um, side note, if you're ever on jury duty yeah. and you want a close lunch, Spitz, which is that place. Yeah. that They Don't have a close. location downtown. Right. It's a great place for a couple of beers on jury duty mm, at lunch. Nice. <laughs> um, next one, Smoke City Market. Very familiar with that one. Yeah, we did Smoke a 30 second edition. Yeah, yeah, so um, Texas, yeah, t- Texas Joint. Mm-hmm. Um, I will go there again and again. Yep. Uh, the next one is Smoke and Johnny's Barbecue. It's in Gardena. Right. Um, and here's the go catch. Here's the catch with Smoke and Johnny's. Okay, it's in Gardena. It's in Gardena. <laughs> Aside from that. <laughs> <laughs> they they have this thing called the pig out challenge Ooh. where your goal is to eat 7.5 pounds of fucking barbecue. Holy shit. No, hold on. It's not even it's an hour. It's 45 minutes or less. Just one person? One person. Did they even from what I can tell, what it is? It's just we're going to put Here's seven and a half pounds of shit on like a funnel. They just like grind it up and just start <laughs> shoving it in. Like, like a... Here's camper, the like the pig out challenge what? page on their website. <laughs> yeah, doesn't have a single word of text. It's just a slideshow of eight images of way too much food to eat. So I think we could. I like think we could guy just realistically, going, yeah, sponsor an LA foodie <laughs> listener to do the challenge. We'll pay for it if they don't get it, but if they do, they're gonna have an awesome video on the internet to show their friends. All right. Yeah, so, if anybody wants to take that challenge, yeah, homework assignment <laughs> podcast up, at lafoodie.com. Yeah. Do you want to try and finish? Seven and a half pounds of barbecue at in forty five minutes in Gardena. What's the name of the place? Oh, <laughs> Smoke and Johnny's Smoke Barbecue. And Johnny's. what's the name of the website? Um, you have it there. I mean, yeah. it's kind of no. All I right. can't read it. Eh, Find Smoke them, and Google Johnny's. them and see the slideshow so you can see the copious yeah, look up amounts s- of of meat. Seven and a half pounds of meat. Yeah, and you know, email us. Problem, we'll right? pay you know, for it. Yeah, seriously, unless we'll you succeed. It. 
and then we don't have to, but we'll end up yeah, with awesome great. videos and photos. There so. have to be at least eight people that all of these listeners know that would try to eat seven and a half yeah, pounds you of know meat that guy. in 45 minutes. You know all right, what's next? You're talking about. Uh, right, after smoking up? Johnny, we got two left. So this is par- the park's finest. Oh, I like the park's yeah, finest. Yeah, so you tell about You've it. So I, that I shit is great. Right? The guy's uh, dad, or maybe granddad, was in World War II. He was a Filipino guy on a uh, boat in... Uh, World War II, so he was serving a bunch, but he was a chef and he was serving a bunch of Americans and he was, he loved doing Filipino barbecue, uh-huh. but all these Americans are like, oh, we want American style barbecue. So uh-huh. he married the two. Yes. And it is awesome. That is how cuisine is born. Oh yeah. The very no, best. Yeah, there's like a whole like giant bowl of sausage. So for example, oh. what's what, what would be an example of uh, Western barbecue and Filipino food married you together? You know, it's hard to describe. It's got a sweetness to it. Okay. And it's, it's different spices, different different preparation. So I don't it's not your normal it. rub with like exactly. brown sugar and no. chili powder. It's something it's different. It's a little different, but like it's still, yeah, it, it is that exact marriage of the two different okay. cuisines. And uh, yeah, I get the bowl of sausage. I'm not kidding about that. It's <laughs> awesome. All right. The, <laughs> the next one, one on the yeah, list. the, the last there? one, we, we made it almost. Um, the last one's <laughs> Woody's Barbecue. I guess it's kind of a chain now. They've got a few locations. Um, they've been around for... Many many years. Um, what is where's do, do you know where uh, the original fly? locations on Slauson Avenue, All right. and they now have locations in Inglewood and Rialto, and they opened up another LA location on West Florence. All right, mm-hmm. so that's our list. So if you know more, well, importantly, yes, yes. When I was looking into the Woody's locations, and oh. I'm always skeptical of a place that has like four or five different shops. Yeah, right. Because sure. how do you maintain the quality? Right. But their locations page has a picture. It's an animated GIF of a bulldog that looks like he just scarfed down the pig out challenge uh-huh. and is struggling to stay awake. So for that reason alone, <laughs> I will go to Woody's. Yeah. Sure. All right. All right. So that's 21 places on our list. Yeah. If you have more, please hit us up at podcast at LAfoodie.com yep. or tweet us or Facebook us. We're so hard to find right. when you're in front of your computer or your iPad or your iPhone, which you Subscribe. never Subscribe. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be trying to eat as much of this barbecue as we can uh-huh. before Super Bowl Sunday, yep. which is, you know, February. assignment yeah. barbecue. Yeah. Let's talk places? let's talk real quick about sauces. Okay. Oh, okay. So so Ben and I have been chatting a little bit mm-hmm. and um you know, we can get up at um is it Barbecue Galore is that the name of the place? Barbecue is Galore. Yeah. Barbecue is yeah. Galore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can get um Gates and and Arthur Bryan's. That's your Kansas classic City sauces. Kansas City. Yeah. yeah exactly. and, and they yeah. just started carrying Arthur Bryan's again in the last like 4 or 5 months. They mm-hmm. didn't have it for a couple of years. But so one thing that I w- would like to do is A find the best sauces in LA sure. and then B we're gonna kind of flip the um, curtains on these guys and and do the blind taste testing oh, with yeah. them to see if they can Hot differentiate. Dog, are you gonna put things in our mouth? We're gonna put. I'm gonna put things in your mouth. Ooh, all right. Um, but we're gonna see if you guys can pick out the Kansas City sauces that oh, you so fuck. dearly love. I, really do. I can pick out Gates <laughs> when they're up against some of the, the best local <laughs> sauces in Los Angeles. I don't know about Brian's, but I can pick out Gates. So one one more Twitter call out if any of the barbecue restaurants that you guys like in Los Angeles actually sauces yeah. yeah sell their own sauces oh, yeah. let us know what the best sauces are so that i can do my best to to see if these yeah, guys maybe we'll swing by and get a tub or something yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> all right well you know what guys I think that means we're about done with the show thank you so much hot dog for stopping by helping us out with all this and uh drinking some booze with us all right so obviously the uh, podcast video here on YouTube, mm-hmm. uh, subscribe to us because we produce cool content other than just the podcast. Um, yeah. Oh my god. But even the podcast, just on its own, cool Pretty enough cool, yeah. to Pretty subscribe. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for listening to the LA Foodie Podcast. You can find versions of today's show on YouTube, SoundCloud, and iTunes. Uh, join us on Facebook or send us an old-fashioned email at podcast at lafoodie.com. Uh, one more quick appeal oh, yeah. to all of you. Um, t-shirts. The easiest way to find them is to go to LAfoodie.com. There's going to be a banner at the top of the page. Click on it. It'll take you to a page where you can buy a t-shirt. It really helps us. We make a few bucks on each sale, and it's a cool way to support a local business. And we got special t-shirts just for the holiday season. Yes, special price. Super cheap. You want to check them out. Please do. Um, as, al- as always, as I'm always. Drew Hubbard. And I'm Ben Waters. 
And as at AG Manx always says, when we rip on Tommy's world-famous hamburgers, I demand a re-review!